Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. Um, it is week two of my surgery rotation. I'm still on EMT for the first two weeks. So that's um, ear, nose, and throat. Uh, yesterday was Labor Day, so today is the start of the work week. Just walking over to the hospital right now. So today we have a clinic. If the quality is not good, it's because I left my camera at home filming, filming on my iPhone. But yeah, today, Tuesday, we have clinic. Um, Wednesday, we have didactics. Thursday, I believe, is the OR day. Uh, Friday, I think, is going to be a mix of OR and clinic. Um, clinic starts at 8 a.m., so not super early, which is great. I actually had time to make uh, to make a good breakfast this morning. But yeah, I am just waiting to cross over to the hospital this light. with the residents and clinic. Uh, so far I scrubbed in on on three different cases and pretty much like the role of the med student in the OR is to like retract when needed, um, cut sutures. Um, if they're very comfortable with you, they'll let you suture. So that's pretty much what I've been doing so far, retracting and cutting sutures. With this clinic, I've been having more of like an observational role, so I haven't really been doing histories and physicals and presenting, um, but when I get back to the main hospital, I'll start doing that. I guess since this is like the subspecialty, you know, ENT, I've been like assisting where needed, so helping with the laryngoscope, because they scope a lot of patients, so they take the camera, put it on the nose, so setting that up, helping the resident with that, um, you know, calling back the patients from the waiting room, things like that, you know, just helping where needed. And so because of that, I haven't really had that much hands-on stuff, so I'm, I'm trying to, you know, use this time to do learning on my own. So when certain things come up, I've just been writing them down. When I get home, I'll look them up. Like, like I just been writing on this little notepad, some things. Like today, I wrote down some medications that I need to go review, um, some endocrine topics. Like, I forgot a lot of stuff from, from, um, from step one. So it is good review. And the thing with surgery is the shelf exam that we take at the end, a lot of it is like internal medicine type of thing. So yeah, just trying to review a lot of that as the weeks go on. But I've really been um, enjoying ENT so far. This is my first exposure to ENT. I've been loving the schedule. Clinic time is good. OR time has been pretty good. Um, for lunch, I'm just having pasta salad. And like in between patients during downtime, since I'm not so, so so I won't waste time. I've been like um, doing some reading, so using uh, Dr. Pastana's. Been reading this like in between patients. I'll probably read this during some of my lunch time as well. So this is where I'm at. Just outside, eating lunch. The sun is shining. But I'll check back in with you guys when clinic is done this afternoon. I am free. It is just past 4 o'clock. Um, pretty good day in clinic. The the resident mom I'm with, um, I told her, she asked me what I was interested in. I told her emergency medicine and she started telling me some things that are relevant to EM. Like, um, cause you know, EM does a lot of consults depending on what kind of patients come into the ER. And so she told me things about like nosebleeds, how to deal with that, how to deal with airway issues. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, ENT deals with a lot of like throat cancers, um, you know, thyroid cancer, mouth cancers, um, things like congestion, sinus issues, uh, things with your nose, uh, deviated septums. That was one of the um, cases that I scrubbed into last week. It was to fix a deviated septum. Also, another case that I scrubbed into was, it was a neuro case. It was to remove a pituitary tumor, but they went in through the nose to remove the tumor. So that's where the ENT surgeon came in. They kind of cleared the pathway for the neurosurgeon. And the third case was kind of like a plastics case. Um, 
a man came in and he had like extra skin above his eyelids and it was kind of like a cosmetic thing he just wanted that big so that was the ENT plastics case so yeah there is a bit of variety with with ENT um, Thursday we're gonna do another neuro case another pituitary tumor to remove and Friday uh, Friday she said it's a pretty busy day she has a few cases on Friday but tomorrow I don't go to clinic tomorrow is didactics so I think I mentioned in the the last vlog that I was huh <laughs> that was Stanley but um what was I saying yeah I've been working on a on a research project it was it's pretty much a continuation of the work that I did uh, in Ghana over the summer after my first year of the malaria project and so now we're like writing the paper and everything for it and I was working on it like the whole month that I had off after I took step and so that was obviously like a lot of time I was able to get things done I wanted to knock it out the way before rotation started because it's a lot of work and then as soon as rotation started last week I got an update that I needed to add another section to it so I hurried up rushed added another section and then just now on my way home I got a call from the PhD student that I'm working with that I need to add another section and had that in by Thursday today is Tuesday like these things take time so yeah and that's about to dig into a chunk of my studying but i think after this this is the last edit and update i'm gonna have to do because we're turning in the paper for submission next monday so after that there's like really no more time for edits so tomorrow we have our first quiz um we have weekly quizzes um so for the rest of the day i'm pretty much just going to be preparing for that and also preparing for lectures i mentioned didactic six tomorrow so that's like a full day of lectures I'm still trying to figure out like what study method or routine works for me um, as far as like the surgery rotation is concerned but what I found good so far is this book right here um, this is I'm just using this because this is like where the questions are gonna come for our quizzes these books right here but as far as like preparing for the shelf and all that I'm using um, this yeah but as the rotation goes on i can update y'all some more on like what's been working for me and like consistently like what i've been using in my um study routine but yeah for the rest of the day i'm just going to be preparing for didactics tomorrow and preparing for the quiz so i'll check in with you guys tomorrow morning mm, that looks good <laughs> Good morning guys, just got to the main hospital for didactics today, um, we have three lectures and then like a clinical skills section, session, so the lectures are on wound healing, melanoma, and like benign breast lesions, and then the clinical skills is on suturing, so I brought my suture kit with me today. Um, so lectures start at 8, but from 7 to 8, uh, all the med students sit on sit in on a discussion with the surgery department, or like they discuss um, their bad outcomes that they had with patients, how they could have prevented that, things they could have done differently. So yeah, head it in now. So I am back from didactics. Um, it was a pretty good day of lecture. Then after that, um, we did suturing, learned a few different um, suture techniques, and now I'm just back home. It's about three o'clock. Um, my plan for the rest of the day is to just go over um, two of the lectures that we did today, and then also work on uh, my research paper. Hopefully just get that done today, because uh, I need to turn it in tomorrow. And then I do, we are going to be in the OR tomorrow, but I really don't have the prep for that case because we did a similar procedure last week, so I already know, like, going in what to expect for that. But I wanted to let you guys know about um, a writing service. It's called Essay Pro, and I'm doing um, today's video in collaboration with them. So pretty much it's a um, writing service for students, um, you know, whether you're high school, college, graduate level, pretty much all throughout your academic career, you're going to be writing papers. Even me now, I'm still like writing research papers, um, 
you know while in med school so what they do is they offer um you know help in the editing process help for developing papers if you don't even know where to begin you can just go to them so pretty much you know they're helping you throughout the entire writing process throughout the entire editing process sometimes just starting is the most difficult part with papers and they're there to help you with that if you need that service now, if you are a student if you think you'd be interested in this kind of service um i'll leave a link to their website below and you can check it out and so now i am going to finish up my paper that i'm currently working on let me just show you guys it's a few different sections that i have right now i'm on page let's see page five and this is single space so about 10 pages double spaced um i just have to add one final section and that is on um what is it brain trauma and how neuroglin affects that so i'll probably spend the next two hours um knock out that section and then review my lectures for the day so i'll catch in with you guys um tomorrow morning at the hospital good morning guys so today is an OR day which is why I I am in scrubs, we have one case today, and then we have afternoon clinic. So in the OR, we have to wear um, hospital issue scrubs. I just put yeah, my scrubs and I'm about to change into them. All right, I am all set. Now I'm about to get my um, shoe covers, hair covers, and mask, and then scrub in. And I'm just gonna put my things in the locker. So we are done with the only case of the day. Um, just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Um, also have a gown on on the OR and you have the scrub in. But first case is done and so now I'm about to head um, down to clinic. Already headed down to clinic. Let me turn this grass back in. So all I had for breakfast this morning was an apple. That's not even really breakfast. I am so low on energy. Um, just now able to get a lunch break. I don't know what I was thinking just having an apple this morning but I was just rushing out the house um after standing in the OR then a few hours in the clinic Ooh, yeah I felt like I was about to pass out so I didn't even pack my lunch today just I ended up getting something from the cafeteria burger was disgusting fries weren't that good barely even ate it Thankfully, I get out of here at 3.30 today because I have class, so not too much longer in this clinic. I am looking rough. Ooh, boy. What's annoying is that I have so much food at home, but I didn't pack my lunch last night, and then rushing out this morning, you know, not enough time to pack it, so I figured, okay, let me just get something at the cafe. Not good options at this cafeteria. Lesson learned. Pack my lunch at night. I am free. Got out a little bit early today since we have class. So every Thursday, um, we have class from 4.30 to about six o'clock. That's our fundamentals of medicine class and that's um, on campus. So I should be um, on campus right now, but because I mentioned like I'm at an offsite for the ENT service, an offsite hospital, and it's about like 15 minutes uh, from my apartment. So it doesn't make sense to go to that hospital go across you know town to campus and then drive back on this side so i got approval from my professor to just watch the the class session um online they do live streams of it so that is uh pretty much it for the rest of the day just watch this lecture and then i have um some reading to do good morning guys it is my last day of ENT, which is kind of bittersweet. I really enjoyed um, ENT, but I'm kind of like ready to move on and start getting the hands-on experience. So general surgery is next. So I'll start having my own patients, rounding, doing history and physicals and presenting. So yeah, I'm looking forward um, to the start of that. Um, today is actually a pretty busy day. We have a few cases um, in the OR. I don't think we have any clinic time though. So yeah, I probably won't be able to pick up my camera until um, after the end of the day. So I'm interested in going into emergency medicine and I felt like one of the, maybe one of the downsides not for everybody is that, you know, you don't really have your own patients and it's not really like continuity of care. You don't continuously follow, uh, you know, your patient through. There's no real follow up, but I don't know. I think I'm fine with that. Like the case today, it was just like so emotionally draining like the patient first came in last week
week because um, he was having coarseness of breath for almost a, a year now and difficulty talking. And when the, the doctor did the scope, she pretty much determined it's most likely um, throat cancer, you know, laryngeal cancer. And he's going to need to have a trachea, in, which was placed today. So that's just like make an incision, put the tube through your trachea so that pretty much you breathe out through there. And afterwards, he just looks so defeated and like he woke up from anesthesia. It was just flailing all over the place. And it's going to be a long road from here and most likely need chemotherapy or a complete laryngectomy, you know, have all this out and talk with one of those things um like the voice box so obviously he doesn't want that so it was yeah it was pretty tough seeing that and i am done with ent today was probably actually the best day uh from the two weeks that i had i'm ready for the photo <laughs> But yeah, um, there, today we had the most procedures and I was able to assist a lot in the ER, so that was nice. Um, it's funny, as I was leaving, the uh, the attending was asking me, so do you think you're now interested in surgery or you'll consider ENT or anything? And I was like, nah, I told her my interest and she was like, you know, I actually liked um, emergency medicine, but the reason I chose not to go into it was because I wanted the continuity of care. And she was like, but now 15 years in her practice, I really don't even care about that. Like I'd rather see a patient, fix them up and then just be done with them. So that was interesting but I'll go ahead and end this vlog I know it has gotten pretty long I wanted to do like a week a full week to I guess give you a glimpse of what it's like because showing one day really doesn't you know give you that glimpse so I hope you guys enjoyed this um, make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one most likely general surgery